Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of Elemental Showcase 5.0. We are doing Blorks 1's entry even more fluff. Sorry, I was like, Blorks 1's? That's just a lot of S's happening in that word. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> did I know this before? I'm still getting used to constructs, but the, it's not crossing the ore mites. I don't remember that I if I knew this. Anyway, that's actually really cool. Huh. What happens if I... Well, I know I can kill it, but what happens if I th f force you onto the ore mites? You die! Wow, that's freaking awesome. Okay. Now, what happens for the mimic that I... So the mimic gets the sword. Okay. I have a feeling I know what I need to have happen here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Totally, definitely understand what I need to have happening here. What if I do this, and then go get the... Nope, okay, I have to have my staff thingy first. So I need to, like, do a double push of this guy into... Uh, oops. In across this first barrier here, that makes the most sense. Such that uh, I can go get to the roaches. So we're going to figure out how to do that right now. And because... Oh yeah, that's right. Stay... Uh, hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, staffs don't get eaten by or mites because reasons, which is fun. Constructs are so weird, they're such aggressive, so, so very aggressive, like there's no stopping them if you don't want them, if they don't want to be stopped. Okay, so now I have to think of a good mimic positioning strategy. Now, one of the things that I thought of, okay, let's, let's just kind of map something out. If I do a push in this direction, I would like to... have my Mimic here facing the uh, other way. Actually, hold on. Let's just try something here. Uh, you can just hold on. Uh, okay, this is actually not going to work like I thought it would. I'm stunning my own mimic. Okay. That's a one way to separate us, but I don't really want to do that. See, the problem is, if I do it from this angle... Um... Like... Oh, that's interesting. That's another way I can... Like, get our swords sort of rotated around. Like, I can stun him and turn. Oh, that's actually really cool! I can poke him and keep moving. Uh, I had no idea that was possible. So, this gives me some more ideas without having to do, like, some weird sword dancing to orient my mimic around. Like, I, if I go... Boom. Let's... Alright, hold on, let me keep, uh, I, w I want my Mimic to, when I'm in this position and I step up, I want my, and I, when I rotate my sword, I want the Mimic, so it kicks the, the pile of rubble up here, and then I want my Mimic to rotate, um, I'm moving clockwise, <clears throat> there's no really good way to do this, no, no, I, it, there, it would totally happen if, uh, Is there any way I can rotate clockwise and have my Mimic also not be blocking the space? That's really, really important. Uh, so I'm afraid, like, I think the Mimic moves after me, so I don't know when actually... I'm assuming it's like a fire trap, where it's the last thing that happens on a turn. Uh, da -da I do 
like how I'm safe here and can kind of play. So, and now I kick it. Uh, well, one thing I could do is if I step up, if I move up, just move up. That's my turn, is moving him here. And the Mimic's turn is... He's like face. He's uh, his stick is here. I guess we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, let's let's get you. Need you a little closer together. Just stay put for a second. Okay, that's fine. There we go. This is sort of what I want. Uh, I want him like one step above me. Let's do this. So we need to step down like this. So this is sort of what I want. Sort of. Okay, if that's the best I can do from that angle, that's not going to be helpful, is it? I really don't want the mimic there. That's the problem. I want to kick him over here, and then when I... So let's just imagine for a second that my mimic is in this position right here. So I'm going to throw this on so you can see it. This position right here is a uh, stick is facing this way. I've done this particular motion by stepping nya. So by this position here, he is standing here. Now if I take a step mm, diagonal, I could kick the things into this position. My mimic then takes a diagonal. Uh, no, because he won't go into that position. How do I do this? I feel like moving is actually extremely difficult in this particular context. <laughs> it's, or at least just challenging to sort of figure out what I must do. Yeah, like, if I could get the... See, then the mimic is still in the way. Uh... I would really just like, yeah, if I could just, let me just figure this out without the mimic for just a second. I'm going to really think about this. Actually, come over here. Okay. I, I, I want to do it from this, oops, from this angle. Now. I have a, a couple of options. I kind of like this one. But I'll never get him into this position with the Mimic being where I need him to be, so that when I step up... I don't even know if I can. Like, Mimic here... Yeah, because the Mimic, in order to be where the Mimic will need to be, it'll be in, it'll be in the space I'm moving him. So it makes the most sense to be to be rotating my sword or stick in this case, so that, uh, like, let's say I do it here. Like, if I toss him, rotate clockwise, and he kicks him off this way, so let's put the Mimic, I'm going to get this guy distracted for just a moment, yeah, let's put the Mimic, let's, yeah, let's think about that. If I kick it, like, him up here, so, boom, he's on this base, and then I kick him over here, and the Mimic, in this turn that I kick him over here, also moves clockwise, and he's, so it's this way, and he goes, kicks him off that way. That might be possible. So let's grab a Mimic Potion. And just set him over here for a second, because I really don't care. So, I actually want him, like, there, okay? But I need his... 
should stick to be on a, a different side. Let's just let's figure out the orientation part first. Is that right? So yeah, I need to keep... Oops. That's, yeah, it didn't say us. So when I, wa I want him... So that when I'm doing this, the Mimic is kicking... Uh, I need him to be... While I'm left, I need, I need him to be uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise of me. Okay, so... So that when I'm doing this, he kicks it out. But now I need to orient his uh, actual position a little bit north of me. So that when I do all this business... Oops. Let's, do, let's get this started over here so I actually have a little room to work with. Uh, no, this is not the right position. I need him like n a, a knight's move north of me or something. Like this. And when I kick, he also kicks. Uh, is that right? Now let's find out. I think it's not quite right, but that's okay. Yeah, he's not quite north enough. Alright, that's alright. Whoops. That's alright, that's alright. There we go. Kick, kick. Do it in slow motion. I like it. And now I can. Uh, he should be able to be. Um, when he resurrects, I should be able to manipulate him just fine. And he's probably stuck there. Now I'm going to use my one mimic to kill this guy. And is there like a tunnel or something? What's happening? Oh, oh no! I can just walk around. I'm dumb. I can go. Uh, ooh, hold on. You, I can just kill. No, no, no. I, uh, wait a minute. I've forgotten part of this puzzle. Uh, oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Come back. Okay. So the problem here. Let's back up. I'm gonna wait until well, yeah, this is pretty close to optimal, but I need I need as many turns as I can. Alright, now. Yep, I'm going to yep. Because now that there's nothing in the room he won't revive. Okay. Keep forgetting how they work. <laughs> that was a good puzzle. I legitimately enjoyed that. Blorks, I don't even know who you are anymore. These are so good. Great, ortho square. Ooh, um, yeah, I haven't used the pickaxe before. It's got this neat little whooshy sound. The wubba setup forces you to release the pressure plate under the construct on the same turn as the room is clear. Okay. So what does the mimic have to do with this? Is he just in the room, just ready to go? Just... Can I convince the Mimic that his best course of action in life is to... Nope, he will just... Hmm, is it... Hold on. Back up, back up. Start the stream over. I'm going to see if I can convince the Mimic to... Uh... I actually don't know if this is possible. I assume it is. It totally is. So, Mimic can take the pickaxe as well. I'm just sort of learning how weapons work, because I really don't know. Now, the real question is, I don't know how pickaxes work, so I'm going to just explore for a second. I can... Apparently they hit from the left, but... Yeah, let's get rid of you for just a moment. They can toggle doors. What does you do? Okay, so they can push from the front, but when I... Okay. And what 
do you open with? You open when that's... Oh, okay, so I can do that. What do you do? But you close that. So I need to... Alright, so pickaxes can take away debris. That's good to know. But that always gives me an idea. I think I actually have the right idea from the beginning. Make the mimic do all the work. Alright, so first thing... First, I need... Now, this opening right away is okay, right? Because like, it just... Uh, yeah. Right? Um, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have to do this first. Uh, nope. Okay, first things first, get the mimic. It is pickaxe. Okay, sure, why not? Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do it that much. There we go. Okay, now I think I want... Do I? Okay, when I click on this, these are both going to close. This one's then going to open. So that's fine. That's fine that they're both closed. Now, I'm going to let that happen. Uh, move you down a step. And that's it. There we go. Just make the mimic take the, the the pickaxe. That wasn't so bad. That was a lot of fun. It was a neat little puzzle. Not too hard, though. Okay, moving right along. I'm kind of shocked how well this is going. <laughs> um. Oh, jeez, that scared me for some reason. Uh, so the stalwarts... Oh, that's a neat way to get them to uh, die on the first turn. So I get 30 turns to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing with this puzzle. I have a feeling it has something to do with the fact that, uh, let's see here, is this a red, it's a trap door gate, so they're going to step Terminate. off that and trap me in there, okay. Uh, I have a feeling this puzzle involves... Um, At least in some s small respect. Let's see what happens here. Exterminate. Okay, this is what I thought. Exterminate. Mm, I need. Uh, there's three, right? Three. One, two, three, four. Will he step around to get to me? Uh, I need to kill them here, here, and here, so that when I'm moving, and it has to be all of them have to be dead, so that when I get across this space, I will have killed the eye, and then. No, that's not going to work because then when I come back, it's not going to it's not going to help me any. Which means this, this is probably not the one I want to be working with. I would probably want to be working with this guy because he's the one. Yeah, he's the one I need to trap like right here because that's still one over and he won't want to step around that. I'm ninety five percent sure. Okay, so yes, I yeah need to kill the mimic or the guys right here. Okay, there's one. Okay, you can... I can actually kind of have some free time here. I'm pretty sure. There we go. There we go. Okay. This gives me plenty of time to consider. He's going to get stuck there. Because they won't actually do the flexible bee lining unless you're on the same row as them. I'm pretty sure. Because I don't want him to drop that trap door. And now I can get out. And see, if I was on the same row, he would gladly step around. But now I've won. That wasn't bad at all. Okay. I like that one, too. Did I win? Yay, me. Now, I've heard rumors of a secret room on this floor, but I honestly did not see one. Checking my corners here. I don't think I missed one. Uh, still don't see one. Hmm. Is it in here? Maybe 
maybe it's like one over. Like that's the exit. Oh, this is it. Okay. So apparently this one's really, 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 really tough. So I might just save it for later. But I want to take a look anyway. Blorks, by the way, this was a fantastic entry. I, I learned a lot, actually, and I thought it was really good. Um, the puzzles were all satisfying to solve. I'm surprised. I actually don't know what place this got, but it, it deserved higher, in my opinion. <laughs> well, I guess I haven't seen the, the really good entries, except uh, the quote-unquote good entries, except um, Crimson Moons. But uh, this one this one was satisfying. Maybe there's something that people didn't like, but I thought these were all excellent. Except this one, apparently, because no one likes this one. Alright, so what is my goal here? Uh, there's a lot I don't actually know about uh, how certain things interact. For example, do... Alright, so I have one turn in which to... That, that's good to know, that, that bombs will explode on a turn. What about fluff? Does What does fluff, fluffy puffs do on hot tiles? I don't... Okay, if you push them into a wall... That's fine, but what happens? Alright, so... They immediately burst into flames upon the, uh, all right, that's good to know. All right, so what's the puzzle here? What do you do? You open up everything up and lock me in. Oh, geez. You let me out, but also toggle this one. Uh, so I need to, mm, um, I, mm, hmm. well, mm. <laughs> Uh, I can, you know, I can sort of. Okay, one thing I can do for sure is I can hold this down with a, well, like, what I actually need to happen is, my guess is that I need this to be pushed onto this position, probably by, um, there's no brain in here, so that complicates things, probably by, so that when I go in here, something, something happens where the, because we learned that um, constructs can push things. So he's going to go push, 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 and then probably immediately die. Because that's what he's going to do. So i got to guide him into this position. He'll die. Uh, I don't know how the fluff gets involved, or what the fluff is even supposed to do. I can... I can also, like, reform fluff, apparently. Like, if I get it all into, like, a square... Oops. Oops. Let's try that. How many? How often do they move? Is it every two? It's every five. Interesting. I don't even know if it's absolutely necessary that I reform the fluffs into a square, but uh, um, the fluffs will eventually kill whatever they run across. But what's the I need to be, the, the, the part of this puzzle I need to get out of here. So this actually needs to get pushed on here, which allows me in here, but it locks this first door. And then I need to have this blow up somehow. And I don't know, you guys don't push things, do you? No, you just do weird stuff. Okay. So how do I, I can't convince, once I'm in here, there's no brain. Uh, I can't convince the puffs to, do it's like I need this to blow up somehow, like to remove this. But how am I going to do that when you've already done the pushing? Okay, I don't even know how the roach is involved here. All right, I'm going to come back to this puzzle because I don't really understand it yet, and I want to keep moving on. Uh, so that was a really good entry. I'll figure that one out later. Go me. Uh, let's move on and do a... Since apparently there's only a handful. Let's do a whatever. Fire trap world thing. Which I have several to do. I've done that one. I've looked at this one. How about, what are you down here? This is, uh, is this Nuntar's entry? No, King Cookie. Four great, the abandoned Beethro place, the four great ways to use it. Okay, he has like some Japanese symbols over here, but I don't, or just kanji, and I don't actually know what they are. Someone should tell me in the comments. All right, let's see. Entrance one by King Cookie. Uh, 
Uh, we got a face with a cheek thing. Like a little bomb or cherry in the corner. Okay. The abandoned beef replaced. Oh, God! Stuff happened. Okay, uh, this looks unpleasant. What? Is there a reason why I wouldn't want... What is going on here? There's a lot. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm just gonna... <sighs> Deep breaths. Alright. Crack my fingers for a second. There's a lot of guards. I'm not happy about this. There's a lot of fluff puffs. I'm not happy about this. There's a lot of this thing, which I guess will melt the... This will open up that. This is... What's the problem here? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I don't think I need all everything to be alive. Oh man, I don't have a thing to push the puffs around. Oh no. Do I have a black gate in here anywhere? Wait. Do the puffs somehow connected to... Here. Yeah, I can use this guy to run them all over. He's just going to get stuck there for a little while. <sighs> or so I thought. Okay, I don't actually know what opens these. That. Toggles them. That is sort of interesting. Uh, because I can't get up there. Which means I need to get a construct to do it. Which means some things. It means some stuff, all right. It means some stuff. You get to just hang out there for a second while I do this. Uh, actually, back better thought. That's before I do all of that business. Cool. So I guess when puffs die on, I guess they're just—they're very cold. Oops. oops. Oh my gosh! Hold on. I really got myself in a pickle here. One second. This is not the... Okay. I'm just gonna keep letting you make things until I... I can still escape. There's no black tar door. I will take that, I guess. Getting them all bunched up like that is sort of into my in my favor. <sighs> okay. Let's get you killed. Right. It's good to know that... Why didn't you guys... Oh, I see. You're just going for each other. chill out there for a second. Alright, I don't think I've failed this completely yet. I don't need to kill all the puffs. I'm pretty sure puffs don't even count as an enemy. Um, there's no, like, secret green door that's going to completely screw me over, right? I'm going to keep my options going. Actually, let's just, I want you to follow me over here. Come on. 
Uh, actually, you know what? The puff's okay there, because it'll kill the first, like, volley of... I don't understand why this is here. I can do all of this without your help. Uh, nope. I should not have done that that way. Alright. This is gonna get weird. Boom. But I think I can make it sort of half work. I don't need to go over there. Anything that I can see. I should have defended my position a little better here while I have the opportunity to. This is just a weird room. doesn't feel like a puzzle, it feels sort of just lynch, not lynch penny, that's the wrong word. Okay, so if you go die on the fire now, that's the room, okay, not sure what that was all about. I'm just gonna leave since I ignored most of the mechanics, that was just a mess. <laughs> I didn't like that, I'm sorry, that wasn't that good. Uh, probably because I'm so used to like lynch penny stuff, that I don't even know what that was demonstrating, just how to work with all the elements together, I guess I learned, oh, this looks better though. Okay, brain stuffs, lets the guy out, gotta make them all come to me so they die. I need a way out of the room. That's interesting. It's facing west, so they're stuck there. Straight up stuck. Alright. Uh, okay, well I can definitely see, I'm just playing with paths right now, so if I do like this, this is definitely a way I can make this work. But now they're all alive, so I gotta do all this business in just a few turns. Okay, this isn't bad, let's do it the other way though. Dun dun. Right, he's gonna do that. Like a, like a jerk. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna like this one, I can already tell. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's lock my room here. Okay, alright. Hmm. Uh, I don't know really the answer to this just yet. Okay, so he's going to feel like that pretty much implies... This is going to happen regardless of what I want out of life. And he's going to avoid those arrows because he's a huge jerk. So, is there a way... No. There's no way to like do these both at the same time, unfortunately. That would make this a lot better, because I need... Yeah, getting up in here and out eats up quite a few moves. No, that's not necessarily true. I can sort of do it. Uh, if I... Yep. Okay. 
mean, it's not like the greatest, but it's better. Okay. I'm gonna wait till he exterminate. Exterminate. Can I do this any faster where I can just. Big old sort of. Oh man, this is gonna get nasty. Uh, okay, I'm running. I don't want to make these videos 40 minutes long all the time, but it's just happening that way. So this has been your host, Pearls. I'm gonna stop here because it's. I'm gonna probably be thinking on this one for quite some time. Uh, this has been your host, Pearls. I'll see you all next time. Till then, goodbye.